What is going on you guys? This is all Danny Dig one on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Defiance 2050 video. And this video I'm going to be talking about the engineer as well as a few things that you can actually get from the new event called New Horizon. And this event is pretty brutal. Uh, the bulwarks in this are very, very beefy. But, you know, the engineer class is actually a very fun class to play as. There's new shields, new weapons, and or new weapon types, I guess. Not necessarily new weapons, but like cosmic weapons. And then there's a new prototype, which unfortunately I don't have. And there's just a bunch of new things. The game itself is still pretty much the same because it's Defiance, but this event was, it's a pretty fun event, honestly. And like I said, Engineer is a great, great class. And we're going to go ahead and go right into it.
So now that I showed you guys pretty much all the abilities and perks that you get for the engineer as well as what they do and how they look, I'm going to be showing you guys a few different ways you can build your engineer. There's three different builds that I just came up with and they all revolve around their main ability. So you have one that is the mech build which you will see in this clip in a short bit but the mech build is going to allow you to obviously turn into the mech but you're focused mainly on doing as much damage as possible with the mech and then the other build is going to be a mine build which in my opinion isn't that great but it's pretty um it's pretty useful and then you have another one which is going to be basically a summons build or your or assault art artillery build or whatever you want to call it. I just call it the summon build because you're using your summons. And not just that, I'm also going to be showing you guys the different synergy that we actually end up, ended up getting. I only have one sy uh, synergy gem so I can't necessarily show you exactly what it looks like but I will be able to show you what it says and everything. And um, the weapons as well. So there is a new weapon called a Nexus. Unfortunately I don't have it. I will be able to get it probably either Friday or Saturday sometime on the weekend but not just that there's cosmic weapons so cosmic weapons are technically like a new tier of weapons but it's a it, it's still like the legendaries and epics and all that you can get it in any form but it has its own like little perks to it from separating it from just regular epics and legendaries but anyways that's pretty much it if there's uh if this video helps you guys out, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section and let's go ahead and go right into it. This is going to be for the mech. So you're going to go 3 for 3 on Fury, 3 out of 5 for Flashé rounds and the reason why is so you get that extra 5% damage rather than the 15 because you're going to need to also get 2 out of 5 on Micro Thrusters just in case when you are out of your mech you can get away of danger. Logic, you want to get 3 out of 3, same reason as Micro Thrusters but you want that extra defense. Frenzy, 5 out of 5, so you can help your team out with giving them more damage when Fury hits. Synchronization, you want 2 out of 5, so that way you will be it. Because you're going to use your Fury, and then when you use Fury or Logic, you're going to get that extra damage. When you use Fury, you want to use the mech, and allowing you, which will allow your mech to do more damage. Which is also why you want to go with Suppressive Fire, because you're going to keep that the firing trigger, you're going to keep that active the whole time. And just hold L2 as well, so R2 and L2, and just keep spamming uh, square so you can spam those missiles as well as much as you can. But that's pretty much it for the mech build. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next build. So this is going to be the artillery build. So with this, you can either go 3 out of 5 for Testudo or 3 out of 5 for the um, Flashé rounds. And then with that, with the other two points, you're going to want to go with Micro Thrusters. So you get the extra movement speed just in case you need to get out of, the, get out of danger. You're going to go with 3 out of 3 on Logic so you get that extra defense. And you're going to also make sure you have to alternate it. Next, you're going to go with Frenzy so that way you can also buff your team. And then this one, you're going to go with one point into high qualities, so that way all of your summons have at least that extra two seconds, which two seconds can make a huge difference. And then synchronization, you want to go with four out of five. Twelve percent out of fifteen percent is not that big of a difference. And then you want to go with Ar Artemis turret. So the way this build works is you're going to use one summon at a time. So you can either use Fury or you can use Logic while your um, turret or your art artillery turret is or Artemis turret is on cooldown so make sure you do use Artemis turret and make sure you do stand within it because when you stand within Ar Artemis turret you get that extra defense and damage plus you get ammo back and then once that's gone go ahead and switch back or go ahead and use either fury or logic depending on the situation if there's a bunch of enemies you're probably gonna want to use logic and then if there's just like a few enemies go ahead and use fury so that way you get that extra damage because if there's a bunch of enemies the only way fury works is hitting the enemy it's not gonna give you that instant damage buff just for summoning it but anyways we're gonna go ahead and go on to the last build
So for the final build, this is going to be the mines. And the mine build, you want to go 5 out of 5 all the way micro thrusters because you're going to be moving around minefields. You're going to get that maxed out 3 out of 3. And you're going to go 1 out of 5 for siphon strike. And then 4 out of 5 for surprise package. That way they're both at 40% based off their own damage. Synchronization, you definitely want to go 5 out of 5 for this because you're not going to really be using anything else other than these two. You're going to also want to go with Artemis turret so that way you can get your ammo back. And with this build you can technically, I would suggest using any weapon obviously because of Artemis turret. But what I would highly recommend is probably something that has a really high rate of fire like an LMG. Well most LMGs don't but like an SMG or the Tempest or you can even use a grenade or a grenade launcher or a detonator because you'll be getting your ammo back with that so as long as you're standing within the Artemis turret. Now if you're running around I would highly recommend also having a shotgun. You don't have to use like a a um, sawed off or anything because sawed offs obviously you're not going to have the reload speed like the assault would with a sawed off but you can use an auto sh shotgun or something which would probably be more beneficial but yeah that's pretty much the three builds now i'm going to go ahead and explain the new shield so with these new shields they're going to be called paradox shields and these paradox shields will all have the same perk, 10% quantum resistance, as well as incoming damage has a chance to restore 20% of your vitality, which is your health. And your cool you have cooldown of 10 seconds. So you have a chance, not guaranteed, a chance to return or get 20% of your health back to you. So in terms of the best shields in the game, Paradox Rebel Shields would 150% be considered the best shields in the game just because of that. So the last thing I'm going to be talking about is going to be your synergy. I know I said I was going to do, be talking about cosmic weapons, but then I realized cosmic weapons and synergies have literally the same perks, so it wouldn't really matter on which one I talk about. So I'm going to be talking about the synergy. So this synergy is going to be called Singularity. And it's, what it gives you is it gives you quantum damage resistance on the first perk. And then shooting enemies applies a stack of singularity dealing damage over 4 seconds and it has a 0.5 second cooldown. Enemies affected by singularity open a black hole at their location on death dealing damage and slowing enemies within its radius lasts for 5 seconds. And then for the fourth one, applying singularity also grants you critical mass reaching a certain amount of stacks so as you can see tier 6 is going to be 5 stacks and then something like tier 4 is going to be 7 stacks causes an explosion at your location pushing enemies back and applying a stack of singularity with a cooldown of 10 seconds gaining a stack of critical mass heals you for a certain amount of vitality like i said before with the depending on the tier so tier 6 is 3.5 percent of vitality and then for the sixth one singularity now explodes on expiration dealing damage to all enemies within five yards so this synergy here could technically be at least in my own eyes it seems like it is a lot better than a lot of these other synergies i mean the black hole it itself sounds amazing just already it doesn't say anything about pulling enemies but being able to slow them down still is good enough i think it would have been better if the black hole could pull enemies in to where the body was at as well as dealing damage over time or whatnot to the enemies that are getting pulled i think that would have been a lot better for a black hole but you know it is what it is and then the critical mass reaching a certain amount of stacks causing an explosion at your location sounds really awesome as well as well as being able to get healed based off of how many stacks of critical mass you have so i think it's a uh, i think it's a really good synergy but anyways, that's pretty much it with this video. If this helped you out, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section, like I said before. And make sure you hit that sub, that bell, and I'll be doing a lot of other games. I don't just do Defiance, I do a lot of other games. So be sure to check those out. Anyways, this is all Danny Day 1 on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and peace.